Hi my loves, so we're back like you promised, we're doing a series of this, we're starting today with part 2, I'm definitely not going to start even with talking too much, just subscribe to my YouTube channel, just follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, but that is as good as dead, but all my social media handles anyway are under the name Ruth Hope, and then on the YouTube is Life with Ruth Hope, I'm sure you can still find me with Life with Ruth Hope. So we're going to dive in into part 2, and yeah let's start right away so my lovelies if you've watched till this far thank you so much and if you've not yet subscribed what are you waiting for smash that button subscribe turn on your notification button follow me on instagram and facebook under the handle rose hof so we're going on i know this video has been a mouthful i know that's why i cut out most of the things so it doesn't become so long so we're talking about the legal ways of moving to germany either complete migration or just you know whatever you choose for some time so when we talk about legal migration i also have to talk about the legal not so legal options because i mean we talk about that we all know that um and i get those questions so for me what i would consider as the legal not so legal you know like like we always say all roads lead to rome it's all about which route you choose so i'll just go quick about it there's one way of for example dating people ask me i've always had a dream of moving to germany i would really really love to spend the rest of my life there i would like to work there and so on and so forth and they give me their options of things they've tried out and honestly yeah from the stories that everyone tells me there's always a chance and i'm not talking about now explicit dating someone because you want to move to germany but I always say, we all don't know where our destinies will lead us. I personally didn't know I would end up in Germany. I had no intention whatsoever of ever leaving Uganda. I was a mommy's girl. I was very comfortable leading a very good life in Uganda. I would have had nothing against staying in Uganda for the rest of my life. But look at me, here I am. So definitely there's no way I would discourage someone against doing that. So that's all also another way or opportunity of moving to Germany. If you meet someone you love and maybe you're lucky that someone from Germany or just Europe in general, for those of you who have uh, interest in different European countries, that is also another way and another chance of moving to Germany. And thank God, thank to online dating. I mean, you can meet anyone from anywhere in the world and I find that to be quite beautiful and amazing. Even when you're somewhere away in Africa, you can still someone who lives in Germany, you can still meet someone who lives in Sweden or wherever. So use the chance if you're interested, maybe if your choice of men or women is German men or women, just dive in, try online dating. Of course, you have to be very careful. I'll not dwell so much on that. Um, I'm sure I'll be doing a video about that. Of course, things you have to watch out for, the dangers and the pros. Um, but that's also one opportunity you date someone um, if I meet someone, for example, if my boyfriend is living in Germany, that is also one opportunity for you to get uh, a visit visa to come and visit your, your boyfriend, your partner. And uh, if you decide to get married, even if this person came and married you in Kenya, Uganda, wherever, you would still qualify for uh, a spousal visa. But of course, that marriage has to be recognized through the German law and so on and so forth. And that's just another video that I'll do another time. Um, another option, of course, is the student visa like we say that is also another straight not straight way you know what i'm talking about you've been dming me and for those of you watching the videos i know that what i'm talking about you know i'm not going to talk deep into that so coming as a student is also another option of completely relocating like i said when you study in germany um you have an option of staying one year after university studies to look for a job you have the chance and honestly unless the stars are completely against you the chances and the odds that you get a job or another way of staying legally are like to 95 percent you know there will always be a way of you being able to stay if you're not rigid i mean even if you have a qualification let's just say whatever economics or computer science and you really really desperately want to stay in germany you can divert and get a job in the care industry you know like for the first year as you look for that dream job of yours so that is also another lego not so lego way if you know what i mean i couldn't find a better term but that's also another way of you know like finding your way around to your destination your desired destination um, the visit visa is also very, very, very important and a big possibility for you to 
get closer to your dream of relocating to Germany permanently or maybe for some time. And this is what I mean. When you come for a visit visa, your opportunities are open. Let's say you get a three months visit visa. And if you're someone who is really passionate about Germany and you love Germany, um, it makes it easy for you, for example, like I told you, German opened its market for people outside of the EU to come and work in Germany. So if I get a visa to come and visit in Germany for three months, I have a very high chance of, you know, getting active, making applications to different institutions, especially in the health and uh, care industry sector. And if they do take you up, you shouldn't even worry. It doesn't matter even if you fly back home after those three months. You already have this... Um, Oh wow, that word is now gone. Like you've already got your job acceptancy, so you can use that to apply for a visa to come and work. You understand? Like already the process has been cut away for you in your time of visiting. Or who knows, maybe you meet the love of your life while here visiting for three months. So that's also another option, of course. Um the other Lego, not so Lego way is of uh, the asylum visa, the refugee visa, like many people have done basically fleeing the countries because maybe the process took way too long the legal process um having to illegally come because uh things are not always straight unfortunately or you just don't have the time to wait until you get killed so you just take a risk and you're like i'm going to leave or the people that have had the chance to talk to to work with through my social work journey these are people who have been through situations that they couldn't have waited you know it was a, a question of life and death so when you're left with no option, you just do anything. And uh, of course it works out differently for everyone. We know how many of people have died, unfortunately, at sea while trying to get into Europe or even before ever getting close to Europe. We know there's the danger, there's the risk. Um, but if that's the only option you have, then the decision is definitely up to you. It could work out, definitely, because yes, for some people it has worked out. But for me personally, if I was to advise you one-on-one, -on -one, if you were my family member, my sister, my brother, my closest friend, I would definitely say that should be like the very, very last resort. It's, it's not the best of options. It's not comfortable. It's not, it's, it's terrible. I, I don't want to say it's not worth it because it's only the person who decides to go on such a journey that can decide if it's worth the risk. So it's not for me to judge if uh, coming as an illegal refugee worth the risk, that's that would definitely not in my position to say because to be honest, I'm in a very advantaged situation and position right now. It would be quite arrogant of me um, to sit here and say, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. You have no right to do that. It's not worth it. I can't, I've never been in such a situation and I'm thankful for that. And for anyone who is in such a situation, I pray that a better option comes up and if there's no other options, you have to take the worst option, any whatever option is left in life. So that is also another way. The possibilities are very high, of course, that if everything is um, like, of course, everything will be proved to make sure that uh, you really qualify to be an asylum seeker. Unfortunately for some people, of course, they're sent back to their countries of origin. It doesn't matter even 10 years, 20 years. I've seen people, unfortunately, being sent back even after 20 years. Even kids that were born here being sent back, you know, like your parents come as asylum seekers and they are never granted the, the residency. They are never granted this permission to stay. Uh, it's called, uh, you're just being geduled. Geduled means like they're giving you a chance to stay until they can, you know, like send you back. So of course, for some people, it doesn't work out. So imagine like your mom comes here with your dad, they're 25. They give birth to you here you've gone to school here you've they built careers here but they'll still send them back so it always doesn't work out but for some people it works out and like i said i'm sure by the time someone decides to come as an illegal refugee and uh, go through the dangers and the risks of what that entails they are honestly left with no option so trying is definitely worth it and whatever chances there is even if it means you'll be living in peace for the next 10 years and maybe go back to your country of origin, is also still something. Yes, I'm imagining we've uh, briefly summarized all possible options of coming to Germany. And let me also say, um, these options actually to 98% apply to all European countries. Of course, every country is different. For example, 
a small example I can give it was in the past it was very 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 easy to relocate to the UK uh, but they've now made the process very complicated very expensive it's not as easy as it used to be and I know that would be a perfect option for someone who comes from an English speaking country an anglophone country um, so yeah the, it's it's crazy but those are the options um, Thank you for having managed to watch the video till the end. Um, if you're interested in such information or you're at the moment going through such a process because I, I have many of you in my DMs who have been lucky enough to meet the loves of their lives and they're currently working on the process of getting a visa, a spousal visa, for example, to move to Germany. You ask me what you're required to get, the process and everything. And like I've said, that entails a lot of time, which I actually don't have to answer like 200, 300 people back and forth. So that's why I'm summing it up uh, in a YouTube video so you can get that information and then decide maybe categorically what kind of questions you would have for me, what kind of information you're interested in. And I will do my next video best uh, to 50% on that, on what you'll comment, what your desires, what your questions are. But to 50%, I would definitely be going deep into that process of how to get a visa, whatever visa it is to come to Germany. I'll be sharing links for the skilled workers and au pair mission, who want to come and work as au pair mission, and the entire process of coming as an investor and so on and so forth. So once again, thank you for hanging in there. Subscribe, turn on your notification button, and like I always say, share, okay? We're here, a family of kindness, a family of uplifting, supporting, and you know, guiding each other on our life's journeys. And we can only do that by sharing information, by sharing knowledge, by learning from each other. So after watching this video, and you think there's someone maybe who could use this information, share the link with them. Feel free to share the link on WhatsApp groups, Facebook groups, on your WhatsApp status, family and friends. And I'm uh, looking forward to catching up with you next time. Don't forget to follow me on all the social media handles under the name Ruth Hove. And like I said, my YouTube is Life with Ruth Hoff. Thank you so much. Until then, love you so much. Mwah.